Shot that nobody gets sitting on top of a locomotive. Gonna be moving out soon. Parking lot's gonna be full.
As soon as we leave, I'll go up. Yeah. Where? You're good. You can go through if you want to. You're good. I don't care if anybody's in the shot. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jane on there, Gage, we now have the 746 are working up above me here. Uh, you just saw the locomotive come back down the hill. You saw the signal move. Now we're going to pull back. I'm going to throw the switch cutting up the hill. And then, uh, yeah, you'll see the 746 will change gas. Really cool. So I'll tell the audience here uh, a little bit about the semaphore here. So basically what happens is when you're lined up for going down the hill, the semaphore will show yellow. Whenever the switch is throwing, it'll automatically go to red, telling you do not proceed because the switch is throwing. And as you can see, lined up to green here, we're good up the hill. So. There's your little explanation on that while we're waiting for pressure to build up and uh, waiting for the train to head up the hill. 150. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, guys, so here's an update on uh, JNL 57. Uh, if you've been following the JNL Narrow Gauge uh, YouTube channel, you'll know that this engine's being restored to operating condition. Um, here's a look inside the smoke box on one of these JNL porters. The boiler on the 57 is in really good shape. Um, you can see we took some of the bottom tubes out here to do a little bit of uh, inspection on the boiler yet, but. Uh, Really, for the most part, she's in really, really good shape. Um, I'll take you around the side here. So, here's your uh, valve bore and then your main cylinder bore here. Everything looks really good. It looks a little bit rough, but that's because there's uh, fluid film on it. So, just to keep it from corroding anymore. Um, so, obviously, the rods are off. I believe the wheels have been freed up. We also took the cab off, if you can see. So there's 57's cab sitting on the ground. It's kind of weird uh, sitting here and there not being a big boiler right here. So here's the rear draw bar from these JNL porters. You see how long they are, and that's because the pin actually goes in right there. So it goes all this way and swings through this channel right here. So we'll climb up onto here. I'll give you a look inside the uh, firebox here. I'll take you off the uh, tripod. So here's your look inside the uh, firebox on the 57 without the grates in it of course. Yeah, maybe I'll try and crawl in there here in just a second and give you a better look. I don't know if you can see that, but you can actually see inside the boiler. There's your crown sheet. You're looking at the top of the crown sheet there. Kind of the knuckle. You can also kind of get a glimpse in on this side here. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. And then we'll find out. So then this is how the original turret valves were set up. Obviously, 58's a little bit different now. We have a 300 PSI uh, Pennsylvania Railroad globe valve on it now. Um, so, throttle, Johnson bar right here. It was in the way there. And you also notice here on the Johnson bar, compared to 58, there's only three notches on these originally. You got neutral, you got forward, and you got reverse. No cutoff in between. <laughs> Obviously, we're probably going to change that, although I don't know, maybe not. So, well, I'm going to evaluate and see if I want to crawl in there to get you guys a better shot. So, who knows? Maybe. I'll give you an update in a second. All right, guys. So, I'm here with Josh. He's with, uh, what's it called? Colon Steel Photography. Photography. And, uh, yeah, like I was just saying, I'm about to do something really, really stupid and crawl into the firebox of JNL number 57 for you guys to give you guys a spectacular view of what it looks like inside one of these fireboxes. So, uh, yeah, probably the first time the inside of one of these things has been filmed. So I'm going to give the camera to Josh. For some reason, he's trusting me with the camera. Yeah. And, That's on my um, own camera. And, um, yeah, I'm about to do something really stupid, so, uh. Yeah, Here we'll we see go. if we get them stuck and we have to lubricate them out of there. <laughs> yeah, that's entirely possible. And I'm going to, uh, so I'm going to put these gloves on here. I haven't done this. Since. I'm not Squad 51. Yeah, no Rescue 51 here. Okay. Yeah, I think that might be an issue. I feel like my overalls are getting caught on the bullet. Oh, well, look at that. Yeah, at least he can fit in there. I would never fit in. I fit in there perfectly. Okay. Welcome to the 
Yes, welcome to the firebox of number 57. So here you can see where we've been doing the ultrasound here. I'm actually going to turn my flash on so you can see. See, that's where the uh, fusible plug would go. These engines only have one fusible plug. So you can see we've been doing a lot of ultrasound testing here. Now these engines originally had a 3 8 inch inner firebox sheet thickness. However, uh, 57 here got a new firebox late in its career. We don't know why. We just know it did. And all of our readings have been coming out to almost half an inch. So uh, 57 has a really, really good boiler. And here you see the rear tube sheet as well, how the tubes are rolled in there. We removed these tubes so you can actually see down into the bottom of the boiler there. Now that's a shot that is really cool there. I think you guys are going to enjoy that one. So... Um, yeah, there's the inside of the firebox on the 57, and now, as uh, Josh gets ready to try and take a picture of me, I'm going to try to get out. <laughs> yeah, here, here's the shot that he got. Go ahead and show him. Yeah, so that'll eventually be on uh, his page, so go check Probably that out. Probably on my out. website, Photos. Yeah, um, up here comes 58. Yeah, I do have a YouTube channel, but I haven't uploaded it in over a well, year. YouTube channel, Facebook page. Oh, oh. Website. Yes. Yeah. Best, best thing is to do my website because that everything is connected to my website, colonsteelphotos.com. All right. Yeah. I will put that uh, in the description down below somewhere. So go check that out. Uh, another thing to note. So obviously the grates are not in this. This is where they'd sit. You also notice there is no ash pan on this locomotive. So uh, yeah, you just, you just kind of drop all of your, uh, all of your stuff everywhere. So Okay, well, I think I've had enough of it in here. It's not too bad in here, actually. It's nice and cool. There's actually, believe it or not, there's actually a really nice breeze coming through these tubes right now, so I'm kind of glad I did this. So, uh, all right, well, now I'm going to try to get out. I'm going to hand the camera to him, and I don't know whether I want to go feet first out. I don't know if I want to come back out in the reverse order of which I came in, or... You want me to pause this, or...? No, keep going. Oh, yeah. you can turn the flash off if there's any way you can do that. But, yeah, guys, I could almost, like, I could sit very comfortably in here. I'm, like, 5'8", five 5'9". Five it's really not too bad in here. You'd, you'd think it'd be very claustrophobic, but uh, it's it's really not too bad. All right, so now I'm going to try to get out of here. Judging by how easily I went in, I think if I crawl out at first, I think I can coax myself out of here. Yep, we're good. All right. <laughs> All righty. So thanks again, Josh. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't get stuck in there. Yeah. And also, in case anybody was wondering what's left of JNL 59, well, here's her boiler. Boiler's been ultrasonic tested as well, and it's in pretty good shape. Um, some of the other parts from at least this is from 60 um but yeah so this is the biggest part that's left of the 59 here is her boiler so um yeah i know there's been a little bit of debate online about what what exists and what doesn't uh pretty much the frame and the cylinders were scrapped frame cylinders cab and uh saddle tank were scrapped and everything else well most of everything else is still around so Actually, here you'll get a better view, maybe inside. Uh, inside there, you can see the stable and all that. So, but yeah. So in case you were wondering what's left, well, that's what's left. Why is that
was that for stack talk? Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like Back down the hill. You know why I laugh, Bill? Because I almost had a car crash up. Under Cox.
know, you always want that one. Have you ever seen a uh, rack or always how they used to have what they call double jingles, or something where it literally rides a rack system and there's a way for workers to get down the bottom of the hill? Make some sort of really stupid, like, roller skate type of